kind of equate it to going to the gym. Like you don't want to go and try to lift super heavy your first day. If you've never mm -hmm. been in the gym, have no idea what you're doing. Right. Yep. So there's certain skill sets that are required to go out and get someone to say yes to a high ticket offer. You need to have some sales skills. You need to have some ideally authentic ability to connect with a person, right? Like actually make someone feel and that you care about them because you should. Um, and, and, you know, just understanding who and where you're asking somebody something like you got to understand the environment. I know a lot of people may not agree with me there. And, and I do agree. Don't assume anything. Right. Mm -hmm. But uh, offer it. But like you got to use some common sense when you're going out to these places, more so on the side of not beating yourself up when you get a no. So, so if you go out to an environment and you kind of notice it's not the nicest neighborhood and it, like, like that, that's possibly an inkling that maybe they're not going to be able to afford a $3,000, $4,000 program, right? And you get a no from that person or you get a maybe from that person, you leave that situation. Well, if you're doing this three or four times in a day, it can get really hard on your soul and you, you can start looking at yourself and being yeah. like, crap, man, no one wants what I have or anything. Well, sometimes you're just pitching to the wrong person, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, that to me was a big realization where it's like, okay, look, this isn't a win-loss ratio thing. This is find the right people that we can help and show them that we can help them uh, or sell them on the idea that we can help them and then do so, right? Deliver, deliver what we said we would do. But in my experience, if someone has the money and they've called you and contacted you, most people are contacting you. And if you know how to start that conversation and guide them along, they're going to want what you have so long as you can really deliver on what they're after, right? Yeah. And that's the big thing is identifying what it is they're after because yeah. sometimes they don't even know. So yeah. you have to dig into it a little bit. And that's another part of the game. Yeah, that's a huge part of it, right? It's it's being a really good listener and being a really good listener includes asking the right questions so you are given the opportunity to listen, right? Just going there and expecting people to spill their guts to you and tell you every little thing that's like their biggest fears in their life or their biggest goals. They may be embarrassed about that stuff. So sometimes we need to kind of pry it out of them.